Welcome to Dr. Jester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about this, well, technically, quite, quite not over a rant, really, but good news, nonetheless. From Washington Examiner, a brave and historic Serbian to move embassy to Jerusalem and Kosovo to recognize Israel after White House meeting. Really? Trump is definitely on a roll. He has achieved more peace between countries than... Holy shit, a lot of people in the past. I think even with his attempt to bring peace between the, the Koreas would have wanted him a Nobel Peace Prize. And then Israel and UAE and now Serbia with Kosovo. Seriously, he definitely needs to get a Nobel Peace Prize. Obama only got a Nobel Peace Prize because he was Obama. That's not a way to earn a prize. That's just sucking his cock. <laughs> what the fucking retarded the idiot who voted on giving Obama a Nobel Peace Prize without doing anything. In fact, I think it was on his first year of presidency he did diddly squat and never even provided or gave peace to any single country in his whole term. But Trump here, he won't be getting one because of fucking... Because of fucking TDS and retards and the control left and the media and everything else, but he definitely deserves this. Look at this. Holy shit. This is a good president. Back to the news. In another diplomatic win for President Trump, Serbia will become the third country to move its embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, after the United States led the charge in 2018, followed by Guatemala two days later. Serbia agreed to relocate its embassy to Jerusalem on Friday, and Kosovo, a majority Muslim country, said it would recognize the Jewish state for the first time. Truly, it is historic, Trump said at the White House, flanked by Serbian President Alexander Vucic, Vucic and Kosovo Prime Minister Abdullah Hoti. I look forward to going to both countries in the not too distant future. After meeting Trump, followed by uh, up by congratulating Vucic, Vukit, Vucic, I don't know how to pronounce his name. On Twitter, he called it brave and historic move. Congratulations to Preds, okay, that's his handle, Vutek, for announcing the move of Serbia's embassy to Jerusalem by July. It's a brave and historic move. The latest announcement follows a Washington summit between the two nations during which Vutek and Hoti agreed to, co to cooperate on economic matters. The small landlocked region of Kosovo declared independence from Serbia in 2008. It has since been recognized by many countries, although Serbia does not acknowledge its sovereignty, making the announcement of economic cooperation a major step in bridging the divide between the two Balkan countries. That's exactly what, uh, what it needs to begin this. The definitely Trump needs to win the Nobel Peace Prize. Have you seen any president, especially in American history, are trying to achieve this level of peace between a country. The last time I actually saw it, I think it was 1979, I believe, with, I think it was Jimmy Carter with uh, Israel and Egypt. But um, don't quote me on that. I think uh, my memory might actually be failing on that regard. But still, holy shit, dude. Serbia and Kosovo have each committed to economic normalization, Trump said. During the Oval Office announcement, the president thanked Richard Grenell, special president envoy for Serbia and Kosovo peace negotiations, for his work facilitating the summit. Let's give them a little taste of the Trump economy, Gren Grenell said Friday. Grenell is also the former US ambassador to Germany and former acting director of national intelligence. Vice President Mike Pence was on hand and thanked both Vuktik and Honti for their commitment to peace. The summit, was the summit was previously postponed in June after Tassi was ind inducted by Hague and charged with 10 counts of war crimes against humanity. 
Tassi or Ta Tachi Tassi was also accused of being a complicit in enforced disappearances and tortured as a leader in the Kosovo Liberation Army, an et ethnic Albanian militia that fought for control of the territory in the 1990s. He denies all the charges. Friday news from the summit follows another major diplomatic coup for Trump, who helped broker a peace agreement between Israel and the United Arab, Arab Emirates. Earlier this week, U.S. and Israeli delegations arrived in the UA, UAE on the first commercial flight between the two Middle Eastern countries. Holy shit, that's amazing! The UAE is the third Arab country to sign a peace deal with Israel. There is speculation that another Arab that other Arab nations may soon follow suit. That's amazing! Seriously, Trump needs to win that Nobel Peace Prize! Holy fuck myself! This guy never tires of winning. I hope you could share some of his winning to other people like me. <laughs> but damn, dude, that's amazing! Let me put some perspective into that. Israel, um, it's completely isolated in the region because the the Arab nations doesn't want to recognize Israel, but. And it has been kind of difficult um, trying to convince the other countries to accept it because of their anti-Semitic views. But it's kind of like um, trying to convince uh, little mini Hitlers to accept that Israel exists. That's how difficult it is dealing with Arab nations in regards to Israel. And then we also have the fact that there's no flights between Israel and other countries in the region. Even more so that if you have a passport uh, of Israel your origins, you will not be accepted in those countries. And even so, if you're not Israeli, um, you go to Israel or something like that and you have an Israeli stamp or anything on your passport, those countries will also reject your entry in their countries. So you see, this type of peace and other things is amazing. It's kind of like... Uh, it's kind of a Nobel Peace Prize worthy stuff. Uh, I mean, look at this. This is amazing. Him being able to achieve all of this to, 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 to people who actually, act, actually hate Jews and Israel and have been hating Israel for decades and Jews for millennia. This is amazing! Holy fuck! Amazing stuff, no... I mean, amazing. Well, thank you for watching. See you on my next video. Good night.